Hello, this presentation is presented by Bioscience students of Taylor University and the topic is on the effect of HIV or AIDS on the global economy and society. Hi, I'm Michelle Nikanakaraja from Taylor School of Biofine. Hi, I'm Shushan from Taylor School of Bioscience. First, let us introduce to you what is HIV. HIV is known as Human Immunodeficiency Virus and it may lead to AIDS. Montagnier and Gallo were the founder to the virus HIV. HIV is a retrovirus which is about 100 to 120 nanometer in size and it belongs to the lanti virus group. There are two types of viruses, HIV-1 which is frequently found, HIV-2 which is rarely found. Transmission of HIV. How is HIV being transmitted so widely across the world? What are the ways that lead someone to be infected with HIV? This transmission can be caused by the most common factor, which is by having unprotected sexual intercourse and sharing of needles. Unprotected sexual intercourse includes the homosexual and heterosexual couple who might have many sexual partners. This causes the risk of them getting infected with HIV at a very high rate. HIV can also be passed on through perinatal infection, but this infection might occur when an infected mother gives birth to a baby. The transmission also can occur via breastfeeding by infected mother to the baby. Transmission of HIV, which is rarely being heard, is via transmission of blood. This picture shows the overview of how the HIV virus infects a healthy person that leads to AIDS. The virus enters the healthy person and it infects the CD4 plus helper healing for site and it replicates to produce more infected cells via budding. The infected cells then enters the immune system and causes the immune system to break down. This leads the cell not to be able to carry out their function well, which is to fight against the disease. At the end, the virus will take over the immune system and causes the person to be more prone towards the viruses infections and other diseases due to the low immune level. This cell contains information about cell entry and spread within the body from previous flight in a very brief form. The CD4 plus has the T lymphocytes refer to the cells which are important to the immune response which helps to fight off the diseases. How do we know if we get infected by HIV virus? Here are the common symptoms. You may easily feel tired. You may experience rapid weight loss. You may have a frequent fever and sweat. Limb node enlargement also one of these symptoms. You may also have a yeast infection in the mouth and tongue. Besides, you may also have persistent skin rashes or flaky skin. If you have these symptoms, you may get infected by HIV virus, which may lead to AIDS. So, let us go through some symptoms of AIDS. If you have an AIDS, you may easily develop into various cancer. You may experience vision loss, severe headache, neck stiffness, and etc. Presence of HIV AIDS causes many effects in various fields such as economy and social. According to the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs and Population Division, HIV affects the economy of the country in various ways, which can be categorized into four different channels, that is, production channel, allocation channel, distribution channel, and regeneration channel. First, let us look at the production channel. Production channel refers to how it affects demand productions, which is by lowering the percentage of labors, which leads to the drop in the performance level of the workers and causes the fluctuations in the economy. Next is the allocation channel. HIV or AIDS causes some of the resources for economic growth being used for the medical expenses, research and education, which reduce the budgets for other productive use. Now, let us look at the distribution channel. As the people are being divided into poor and rich, this leads to poor people with HIV or AIDS to suffer more than the rich, as there is not enough resource for medical expenses and other expenses, 
whereas the rich may have a prolonged life as they can afford to undergo treatment and lead a healthy life. This also widens the gap between social strata. The fourth channel is regeneration channel. Economy development is being slowed down as the HIV or AIDS epidemic compromise the savings capacity and the human capital of the economy. This table shows the federal funding for HIV or AIDS by category from year 2010 to year 2016, which is still in request. From the table, we can see that most of the funds spent on domestic and care for the HIV or AIDS patients. While the effect of HIV under the social category is the discrimination of HIV positive people, people who are HIV positive are always being ignored and neglected by the public and less likely to be accepted among them. This is because the public are afraid that they might be infected with the virus itself. The second one is the violation of human rights. Most of these HIV positive people are not able to secure a job as their performance tends to drop as their owners get worse. Finally, it's one of the effects of HIV under the social category. The number of orphans are increasing the larger, especially in the third world countries. This is because the loss of one or both parents can cause trauma or burden as the child might need to be the sole breadwinner for the family at a very young age. The loss of parents also causes the future of the child to be questionable. Education is another part of a fact of which HIV under the social category. The lack of education also causes the hierarchy of the HIV people. This is because they are not being exposed to the danger of the disease medical prevention. One of the effects of HIV under the social strata is the poverty. As the disease gets worse, it becomes a person which tends to lower the performance level. For those who are carrying out agriculture, especially in the third world countries, they may face shortage of food on a prolonged period of time as they may not be able to get well nourished food and they may not be able to carry out the agriculture activity which correlates with the job of the economy. Well nourished food is important in order to keep their lifespan longer and to keep them active. Poverty also causes them to not to obtain a better healthcare system. Here are some of the considerations on prevention the HIV from spreading. First, having safe sex, for example, using condoms or diaper, not having bisexual or multi partners. Second, government and non government bodies should organize more campaigns and advertisements on prevention of HIV. Third, education on the knowledge of HIV should be exposed to the students at younger age. Last but not least, Having a regular checkup and vaccines will be some of the ways to prevent the spread of HIV infection. Here are some of the pictures that show the amount of children and adults estimated to be living with HIV across the globe. The are 35 million people worldwide who are currently living with HIV AIDS. And there are 3.2 million children worldwide are living with HIV. Most of these children were infected by their HIV positive mother during pregnancy, childbirth or breastfeeding. And gay and bisexual men of all races are the most severely affected by HIV. Thank you for watching. We hope that this may helpful to you. Bye.